Hello, welcome to week one of the 30 Day Goals Challenge. In this week's video, I'm going to explain the most crucial part of the goal setting process. One of the biggest reasons why many people don't achieve their goals is because they set unrealistic expectations for themselves. Have you ever heard the saying, how do you eat an elephant? And the answer is, one bite at a time. Well, the same expression applies to goal setting. To achieve a large, substantial goal, you must break it into smaller goals or smaller pieces. Just as you can't eat an elephant in one bite, you can't achieve an enormous goal in one step. Now, Henry Ford once said, the biggest goal in the world can be achieved if you break it down into enough small steps and then take one step at a time. All great achievements are simply the end result of a sequence of smaller accomplishments, one step at a time. Now, now that you've identified your goal, you need to make a list of everything that you will have to do to move closer to that goal, every single step along the way. You write your list down on paper and you don't stop until you have a complete list with every single thing that you're going to have to do to achieve that goal sometime in the future. Now, as, they, as things go along, you will think of new things. Geez, I could do this and I could do that. Write them on the list. Write them on the list. Keep working on your list until your list is complete, until you can't think of a single other thing you will have to do to achieve the goal. Now, the next step is to prioritize your list by sequence and priority. What does that mean? Well, sequence means that what are you going to have to do first? What will you have to do second? What will you have to do third? You see, the key to time management is for you to choose the sequence of events. Your whole life is determined by what you choose to do first, what you choose to do second, what you choose to do third. Now, the second part of organizing your list is by priority or importance. What is more important and what is less important? Remember the 80-20 rule. 20% 20 of the activities on your list account for 80% of the value. I was just talking to a very successful businessman today and he said, in our business it's usually the 90-10 rule. You make a list of 10 things, but one of those things is more valuable than the other nine. Natural tendency for people is to work on all the little things and not attack the big thing. So once your list is organized by sequence and priority, you then make a plan to achieve your goal by organizing your list into smaller steps steps that you'll take daily and weekly and monthly to achieve it. You begin at the top of your list that's properly organized and then you take action one step at a time. You know, Confucius said, oh, a journey of a thousand leagues begins with a single step. What we know in success and goal achieving is the most important step is the first one. So we say always take the first step. Once you have your list, once you have your plan, don't be worried about whether or not it's perfect. Just take the first step. And wonderfully enough, when you take the first step, you get three adva advantages. First of all, you can always see the first step. But the advantage, first advantage is that you get feedback, which enables you to self-correct. The second advantage is that you trigger ideas. You actually become more creative in moving forward. And the third advantage is that once you take the first step, your self-confidence goes up and it propels you into the next step and the next step until you achieve the goal. This is the key to great success for everyone who's ever accomplished it. 